In the streets. In the streets. I see all this. That's right. And this is the living, living history right here. Oh yeah, 118 in the AM here, WUSB 90.1 FM, DJ Mel Star on the one and two, rub, rubbing the hard body. We got the legendary T-Ski Valley in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we're about to get into an interview with him. My dog. Yeah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So Mel Star, I'm gonna turn you down a little bit. And uh, we're gonna get into this, this interview with uh, T-Ski Valley. WUSB 90.1. F M. T Ski Valley, what's good, my brother? What's going on, man? Al? Can't call it, man. I'm glad to see you made it out here. Yeah, we are a long way out here, man. A long way out here. <laughs> Listen, man, you traveled all over the world, and you worried about coming out to Long Island. Well, yeah, well, Come on, let's yeah, keep it I, I, you know, I, I brought my passport just in case. <laughs> Did you pack a lunch? Yeah, I got a peanut butter jelly sandwich in the back. Mel Star got it. Well, let me ask you a question. When you was driving out and it started getting dark, did you get nervous? Of course. <laughs> of course. What's up, man? I ain't, you know, I ain't worried about that. I got my white sheet in the back of the car anyway. Oh. oh. Just gonna wow. have to blend in. No, yeah. cell, no cell phone service out here. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, for real. Yes, the legendary T-Ski Valley in the building. And that is your DJ right there on the wheels, right? No. DJ Melstar, my man, my brother. Can't get no bigger. Now, DJ Melstar, before we get in, into you, DJ Melstar, you, you have to understand, I mean, the people listening to the radio and listening online, they don't understand that he's cutting without headphones, man. That's what he does. That he really... does not have headphones on. He's just going in, hard body. Yo. In other words, all you other DJs, Roach. Just turn it up loud. Come on in the studio, man. Don't, <laughs> yeah, don't get scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get scared. Yeah. yeah. What's good, man? I couldn't, you know. What's good, what's wild, good, man? What's, what's all good, man? Yo, Mel, you a beast, man. Thank you, sir. What's you good? a beast. In fact, Paul from Island Wide said you was a Viking. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. He's he, he, he from where? Minnesota? I, Island Wide. No, he's uh, a little, oh. little cab company uh, out here. Uh, you know? So, so um, I appreciate you coming down, my brother. So yeah. good. I told you I was going to come through. No so. question, man. Yeah, no question. Yeah. Well, we ain't done with you yet. All right? Got a lot more. There it is. There it Got is. Got a lot more. So, T-Ski. Yes, sir. What's going on with you right now, my brother? Well, right now I'm doing a couple of things. Um, I have a, a track called Wake Up that I'm working on right now. It's um, with Curtis Blow and um, I'm Al. I don't want to say Dougie yet. I, Dougie has the track, but I'm just waiting for him to uh, drop his 16 on it. It's uh, Dougie, I, Curtis Blow, and uh, Cool Cow the Star Child. We're doing something called Wake Up. It's about um, um, a, a enlightening our youth about uh, pulling their pants up and. Um, about gang violence and stuff like that. So I mean, we need to. Um, somebody needs to talk about it. So I mean, I mean, it's not. I mean, I'm looking at it like I'm not gonna get a record deal because I know what they want. But I'm gonna still voice my opinion anyway. I'm not mad at you for that, man. You know, I mean, you know, you talking about pulling pants up, man. I thought that fad would have gone and left. You know, and I mean. Let's, let's move on. <laughs> hey, well, you know, you, you know, like, you know if, you, if you spoke sagging backwards, you know what you got, right? Yeah, man. I, 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 stay, I try to stay busy, but um, me and Mel been trying to get together for the last two years, man. And like, he's been doing that the, his little re, uh, the reality show in the mix. Um, I believe that's what it's called, right, man? Master of the mix. Master of the mix. Yeah, he was in that. So uh, we couldn't really communicate. He's doing a lot of different things. I'm doing a lot of different things. But we're gonna try to put something together because um, my time is real limited. I need the money right now. I ain't mad at you. Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at you. So how did it all get? Let's let's move backwards. How did it all get started for you? Well, it started back with me um, uh, back in 1978. Um, I was I was with Cool Herc. Uh, actually, Cool Herc. I, we, I got traded. That's what we were like you got playing. Traded. We was like playing cards back then. Oh, okay. I got traded from I got traded from the Herculoids to AJ and Busy B. And after AJ got rid of uh, Busy B, well, I don't want to say he got rid of Busy B, but he got rid of me. And um, AJ and Curtis Blow got together. And so I went on my own and I ran into a, a Jamaican brother named Brad Osborne. And uh, he had a, a Jamaican label called Clock Tower and Studio, and Studio One 
was um Sadat. So um I just tell them I could I could I yo, I'm a good MC, I'm a good MC and they tell me, nah, 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 nah. So I brought them another group and those that group put, um did a song called uh, Girls of the World, that was Imperial J C. Uh they did a song and while my band was there, it's called Circle of Friends, it was Kashif, uh Barry Eastman, um uh, Blinky Bryce and uh, Wayne Bratway, uh, rest in peace. For those of you all who don't understand, he said Kashif. Right. Yeah, cause she and uh, Barry Eastman wrote all of. Uh, he wrote "You Are My Lady," uh, "Rock Me Tonight." He With was Freddie Jackson. Freddie Jackson. He wrote. He wrote all that, and he wrote all the Need to Break the songs. Mm -hmm. And so, I asked him. I wanted a heartbeat song, but I didn't want it to sound like heartbeat, but something like that. So as they was playing the track, I grabbed the mic and started MCing. And it was actually a freestyle song, so when I ran out of words to say, I say catch the beat. Mm. And the rest and, is history. Right. And I also spell I when I spell it's the G R A, the N the D, the G R O, I left an O out. You know, <laughs> uh, I spelled Grand Grove. But it was grand it was supposed to be Grand Groove. So it was actually a freestyle song. And um and what happens is they, they didn't want to erase it. They said keep it because sometimes you have a certain magic when you do things and it's like just keep it. And we kept it and um my man Lilo liked it, and then I had Randy Muller from um, Brass Instruction, he was there. Then I had um, Solomon from Sky, all these guys were there. Deborah Harry, um, you know, Mystique, Push Push in the Bush. We all was in the same studio. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I was the youngest guy there. I was 17 years old. You know? mm -hmm. And um, I couldn't sell that record for nothing. 